In August 2021, Kubo opened the gates of the Bleach story by giving us a possible, more than likely, a continuation of the Bleach universe. See what I did there? Open the gates? Get it? Because Hell's Gates were up. Never mind. There were twists and turns, such as the foreshadowing of the Hell Butterflies and the return of characters such as Ukitake, well, his sword at least, and Xylopodo Grants. While the chapter was received with massive praise, there was clearly a demand for more, to which I believe there will be, based on speculation. Now, I noticed a lot of the theory crafting posted after the chapter's release was who would be making a comeback and who would we like to see revived. While that is a good discussion, I would say I'm more interested more so on what the arc will fundamentally be about. So, if you've read the title of the video, please allow me to elaborate on why I think, besides my guilty pleasure of tournament arcs, has a logical approach to a setting. But wait, because this video is sponsored by Izakai Demon Waifu. Izakai Demon Waifu, or also known as Doki Doki Palace for iOS, is a free to play mobile game where you will come back as the Demon Prince of the Overworld. Along the way, you're prepared to explore mysterious lands, assemble powerful guardians, and if you didn't guess from the name, meet countless amounts of beauties. As the story's plot progresses, you will be able to collect two kinds of characters, consorts and subordinates. Consorts are essentially the Demon Prince's wives, so you as the player, they act as managers for the kingdom, provide moral support for the army as well as discovering and managing resource production. Subordinates will be your advisors and generals, influencing the kingdom's productivity, help with your development of the city and be your overall security. But what can you do in this game? Begin your journey in your own stronghold Palandina and just get out there and start conquering. As you get out there, you can use the portal to travel anywhere on the Palandina continent and encounter a variety of beautiful girls. So you can use your charm, melt their hearts and increase your kingdom's power. This will help recruit subordinates and gather elite troops. Each subordinate has different skills so there's lots of characters to go and explore so you can strengthen their unique skills to reach your ultimate goal. Once you've collected <clears throat> I mean, charmed your consorts and subordinates, there is a variety of distinct costumes to choose from. So go on, show everyone what type of taste you have. In the fashion department, of course. Are you the type that likes the PvP modes? Izakai Demon Waifu has it. Fight for respect and get the highest honor in cross server battles. And of course, you've guessed it, there are also guilds as well. So you can battle side by side with your friends that's if you have any, after debating which one of you has the best waifu. But hey, just make sure that your guild is the best one that there is. That is, of course, if your waifu is as great as she says she is, right? So go and have fun, download Izakai Demon Waifu on the Google Store, or download Doki Doki Palace on the iOS App Store. Trust me, you won't regret it. But back onto the video. First, I want to address Ichibei and the concept of Hell. Rukia states in the fourth Bleach movie Hellverse that the Soul Society does not have any control over Hell and all matters relating to Hell are strictly prohibited. Now, I know using the Hell movie might be controversial, as Kubo stated how the studio changed a lot of things, so I would understand if you wish to take it with a pinch of salt. But I would argue that the concept is canon, but the story itself is not, and for the sake of lack of information in the manga, I will use it until something states otherwise. To bring it back to Ichibei though, it's fun to me that Yuha named him a war potential because of his knowledge. Ichibei is the creator of names. He names everything and anything. Swords, Kido, clothing, just as a few examples. Names have meaning and he named them all. He has been around for as long as arguably Yuha and has served the Soul King potentially since the beginning. So if the Soul Society knows of Hell and even teaches of its existence, told that they have no control over it to someone of a lower rank such as Ruki back in chapter 12, then it's heavily safe to say that it Ichibei knows of it. The reason I bring up Ichibei is simple. Ichibei names the Zonpakuto, and as far as we know, Yamamoto, if memory serves me correctly, has a move called Enetsu Jigoku, which in translation means the Flames of Hell. I often wondered if Ichibei granted the name of certain Zonpakuto to chosen Soul Reapers. I say this because it seems illogical for Ichibei to know about Hell without a way to fight against it if need be. It would seem very ignorant, not only from the Soul Society, but also from the Soul King and Squad Zero to assume it would not be kept in check. We could get even more into the head canon by talking about Kampachi's demon form state when he goes into Bankai, taking on the form of which seems to be an Oni, the Japanese version of a demon. A real hot take too is we could have the perfect excuse for Chad to get some redemption as he has the left hand of the devil. So would he serve some use in this arc, considering Chad experienced some changes in Huekamundo and helped him awaken more of his powers? I wonder how much hell in this aspect would affect him. But back onto topic. 
Why a tournament? From what we know, you can't kill a sinner, and you can't purify them as far as we know. The only way I can imagine you can release a sinner from hell is if you had a Zanpakuto and the strength to do so on a very specific condition, be it Zanpakuto or lineage. There's also another way which is quite popular in pop culture, and that is making a deal with the devil. There's already an imbalance to the point where there isn't enough spiritual energy to keep hell's gates closed, so I feel a tournament would not only entertain a devil, if there is one of course, but also give something to gain. Soul Society loses, Hell becomes the dominant entity. If Soul Society wins, we could reincarnate some characters or fully bring them back. While I'm not a fan of this idea as I believe bringing back certain characters could ruin their personal story arc, I personally wouldn't deem it an impossible outcome. Like Gein for example, we could flesh out his character a lot more I suppose, especially with his relationship with Rongiku. But characters like Yamamoto should stay dead I feel, because you don't really want to take away not only the badass send off that he had, but also remove the threat level of the Thousand Year Blood War arc either. I feel a tournament arc would be great for a no holds barred type of battle too. We could see the likes of Kampachi go all out in Bankai, and also what his Bankai has been like over the past 10 years, or 12 years in this case, that we only originally got a glimpse of back in the Thousand Year Blood War arc, and we could see Ichigo's new strength without causing damage to any of the other realms that already exist, and maybe even get some redemption for some of the Squad Zero members, as they themselves also have a bit of controversy for being quote unquote weak. I admit, it's a bit of a guilty fan theory, and Jump Series have a tendency to go the tournament route, but it's also successful. People love them, and Bleach has been the only one from its contemporaries that hasn't executed a tournament battle arc, including any of Kubo's previous series. Kubo likes to test the waters and try new things, but he likes to also draw cool stuff in general. So this would be the perfect excuse to increase the stakes from the Blood War arc and even the more psychological horrors of Can't Fear Your Own World's novel series. But that's kind of my conclusion on what I think the Hell arc logically seems to be the case. But what would you guys like to see? Is there anything that I might might have missed or a concept I might have skimmed over. Considering we can't kill sinners in hell, what is the solution to this problem? Please tell me in the comment section down below anyway. Of course, a big shout out to the sponsor yet again. With that being said, I'm going to catch you guys later. You guys, of course, have this fine day. I've been handsome and as always, people, peace out.